Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am taking you along for one week of meal planning on a budget for two people. Those two people are me and my husband who is often very, very hungry. I feel like he eats enough for two people. Both of us work part-time jobs so that we can use our time to pursue other things that we're really passionate about. So money is often very, very tight in this household. And I truly believe that meal planning is the foundation for staying on a budget and saving money. So in this video, I am showing you step-by-step -step my meal planning journey, how I put food on the table for our family on a serious budget. On a serious budget. I'm going to be showing you this whole weeks of meals, how I plan for them using my planner, cooking them, prepping the food, all of that stuff. So with that being said, let's hop on into it. All right. So today is Sunday. And while I normally do our meal planning and meal prepping on Monday and Tuesday, I'm filming this. So I know it's going to be taking some extra time to be explaining everything. So today is Sunday and I'll honesty. I also don't normally look like this when I'm meal planning. I don't normally have a full face of makeup on and my hair done and in full transparency you will see that throughout this week. The first thing I do before I meal plan anything, before I write anything down, is to actually take inventory of what we have in our kitchen. This is either going to be food that was left over from last week or food that I'm looking to get rid of that's just been sitting in our home. If you've seen any of my other videos, I, I call this method the sitting food method. So once I take inventory of what's in our fridge and what's in our pantry, I use a calendar. I use a literal physical calendar. I know no one's using these anymore <laughs> these days, but I use a physical calendar to write out what our meals are going to be each day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't always plan out breakfast and lunch. I usually just plan out dinner, but for the sake of this video, I'll just explain what we do. I personally use an Erin Condren planner. I've been using these for years. Ones I like are the vertical planners. They split the days up into like three categories, which so from last week, what we have left in our fridge is honestly not that much. I did a lot of meal planning or a lot of meal prepping last week. So kind of bulk making some meals and freezing them so that in the future I wouldn't have to make dinner on certain nights. But things that we do have that are left over are some romaine lettuce, some cooked noodles, some egg rolls that are actually in our freezer. Just eat them up. They're enough for like one meal for us. Noah bought some shrimp maybe like a month or two ago that's been in our freezer for a while. And I've been trying to get him to eat that. So it doesn't just sit in our freezer because we obviously don't have much space in our kitchen. I pre-made some turkey burgers last week and froze them. So those aren't grilled yet, but we could always take those out of the freezer and then thaw them and then grill them if we needed to. And then I also pre-made a baked ziti last week. So that is our inventory. I also always try and use one food up from my sitting foods drawer. I think I know what I'm going to make, but I will figure out after I plan everything. On top of what I do for the meal planning for every day of the week, I also make certain things pretty much weekly, different day depending on when we use up what we have. So I usually always make a loaf of sourdough bread. So I make a loaf weekly. I also always make a batch of some sort of protein muffin. So something that's an easy grab and go snack. And then this week, I actually want to try making some egg bites. Obviously, I write all this stuff out. If something happens, then something happens. But I just try to plan the best I can on the little note side. This is where I put like our inventory of what needs to be eaten for sure out of this fridge and then what things need to be made. Today's Sunday. Noah's working this whole day. So those are just my meals for myself. I'm going to eat an Impossible Burger and use up the leftover lettuce that we have. And then for dinner, I'm going to meet. I have a ziti that I can bake. And then I'm going to make a Caesar salad with also the leftover lettuce. I really only try to cook four nights a week, which probably sounds a little crazy. The reason I do that is I usually try and make enough for like three, four, even five meals for either Noah and I. And that's so I just don't have to cook every night of the week and we have a messy kitchen every night of the week. So that is like my rule of thumb. Otherwise, I think I'd go crazy if I was cooking every day. So once I write in like what I'm going to be making those nights, I also try and figure out like, okay, are we going to eat tacos for Thursday? What are some things I can do before Thursday evening? evening that can make Thursday evening a little bit more s seamless. So for that, I just did earlier in Thursday, I will slow cook the turkey meat. Same with like, for example, we're having turkey burgers on Monday. So today I'm going to pull out the turkey burgers that I already made that are frozen so that they can thaw so that Noah can grill them on Monday. That's kind of my plan. And then also, like I said, I usually make some muffins, bake some bread. And then this week I'm also making egg bites. I know I make those every week. So I like plan out when I'm going to be making those things 
things. So my sourdough bread recipe takes three days. So I just figure out like, okay, we're gonna need bread probably starting Saturday. So Saturday is gonna be my third day of baking my bread. This is gonna be my first day. Then I'm gonna need my, to pull my starter out on Wednesday, which I need to write in. Um, and then I know for our muffins, I bake some muffins so that we have like snacks whenever we want them. I'm pretty sure with how many we have from last week that we will make it to Tuesday, either Monday or Tuesday. So I will bake muffins, if not Monday, on Tuesday. And then I'm also going to try and make some egg bites today if all goes well. How breakfasts and lunches usually work for us, Noah is like a creature of habit. So he pretty much eats the same thing for breakfast every day. It's three eggs plus some of our sourdough bread. If we have some fruit, he'll eat some fruit. So he makes that on his own every day. He likes his eggs fresh. And usually when he makes his breakfast, he'll ask if I also want breakfast. And so we'll make our breakfast at the same time. But this week I'm gonna try something different and make some of those egg bites so that I can eat my eggs whenever I want. Sometimes he asks me if I want breakfast and I'm not quite hungry yet. But that's usually how breakfast friends for us. From here, I am going to put together a grocery list for things that we're going to need for all the things that we're going to be making this week, any place to fill in the holes. And then also there are some things that we eat just for snacks throughout the week that I keep a running list on my phone throughout the week. If I see something running low, for example, this week we need peanut butter because we're out of peanut butter, which is not an ingredient I need in any of my dishes, but it is something that we use as a snack. Another tip I also have though is when you are putting together your grocery list, when you're putting together your recipes or your meals for the week is to one, get creative about what you're making. You can get creative about which ingredients you're using, how you're gonna be using them, what you're going to be eating them for, like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But you can also get creative about substitute ingredients. So something I always like to do is if I find a recipe that I really wanna make and there's an ingredient in it that I don't have but I have something similar, I always try and use that ingredient that I already have that I already paid for instead of going out and buying something new. That's gonna help me use up the food that I already have in our kitchen and then also prevents me from buying something that, that I may have leftovers of afterwards and then I'm not gonna know how to use it. So that's what we do for our meals. Like I said, I always try and use up something from my sitting foods drawer. So this week I am trying to tackle this bag of marshmallows that we've had for honestly a little while. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to make with them are Rice Krispie treats. From last week, we have about half of an apple pie left. So that's probably gonna last us a couple more days. So I probably won't make the Rice Krispies until like Wednesday. And so for using these ingredients, I will do my best to get the other ingredients that I need, but like on a budget. So that's my plan for using my sitting foods. If you haven't heard me talk about sitting foods, sitting foods are going to be any foods that are in your pantry, in your fridge, that are just sitting there, they don't have a use. By using those sitting foods, you're putting a value to those products that are not being used. It'll help you save money and not waste any food that you spent your hard earned money on. From here, I'm gonna create my shopping list and I will come back to you with that shopping list before we go to the store. Something that Noah and I actually use is we have a grocery list note on both of our laptops. We're both on this list so we can both make edits to it. If there's anything that we want to add to the list to go to Costco or to Aldi or Walmart, I can combine those two usually because I go either to Aldi or Walmart every week. Um, then both of us can add whatever ingredient or whatever item to that list. It kind of streamlines our communication. So we it's earlier on Sunday based on the meal planning. I'm going to be making those egg bites today. I need to pull out those turkey burgers, which I already did. And then later today, I'm going to have to bake the big ZD that I pre-made for tonight's dinner. I'll also say that yes, I am the one that puts the meal plan together, but no one, I usually do switch off on who is actually cooking that night. And that's simply because throughout the week there are two nights that I am out and there are two nights that Noah is out and then there's one night that we're together that's kind of like our date night. So if I'm the one that's going to be out for that night, Noah takes on the cooking responsibilities and then if he's going to be out that night, then I'm taking on the cooking responsibilities. And even if one of us is out and there's only one person eating in our home that night, we always make enough food for both of us for that meal because then whatever is left over can be eaten for lunch the next day or dinner the next day. Like I said, Noah eats like twice as much as I do. So leftovers are our best friend in this household. It's a little bit later today than what I filmed earlier. On my Sunday list, I said I wrote in, I was going to make those egg bites. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I haven't done this before, like I said, so we're gonna go kind of off the fly. And I'm only gonna be using things that are already in my kitchen. I looked up some recipes, they all kind of called for similar ingredients. So I'm kind of just gonna throw everything in my blender and see what happens. Everybody that I saw use like an actual blender, which I have, but I actually really like using my Nutribullet because I feel like it's a lot easier to clean. And then I also have, I think I showed you guys this in a past video, my Trudeau muffin tins. They're silicone muffin tins and they just pop everything out. It makes it super easy. I don't have to buy like actual 
muffin liners and they clean really easily. So I'll link all of that stuff down below, but we're gonna get started. The recipe I'm looking at said to preheat the oven for 275 degrees. So I'm gonna do that. And even though it's like 1 p.m. right now and tonight I had planned that I was going to make the ZD that I, I pre-made last week, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven while I'm putting the egg bites in the oven just so that I can not heat my oven up twice in one day since I'm already heating it up once. I just reduced the amount of energy that I'm using and obviously then the less money I'm paying on my energy bill. So I'm gonna cook both of those at the same time and then dinner time rolls around or whenever I'm hungry, I'll just take however much ZD I actually want and pop it in the microwave. All right, don't mind my jammies. Was not expecting you guys to see my lower half. The egg bites and the ziti are both in the oven. Usually I bake the ziti at 350 and right now the oven's at 275 for the egg bites, but I think it's gonna be fine. I may just have to leave it in there a little bit longer to get the ziti all cooked thoroughly. Everything in the ziti's already baked. I'm just basically heating it up right now. All right, everybody, it is Monday. I'm pretty sure that I said that I was going to wait until Wednesday to go to Aldi or to go to the grocery store, but we have turkey or burgers planned for tonight and we don't have any buns in the house. And so unless we want to use some um, sourdough bread. I'm here at Aldi to come grab some groceries. I ended up picking up some a bag of apples, a pack of butter, two containers each of blackberries and raspberries, one container of blueberries, hamburger buns, a few bananas, some ketchup, and a bag of grapes. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I feel like I've been terrible about updating like our journey here. I just pulled out my sourdough starter like I have on my weekly meal plan to do. The last couple of days were actually kind of odd just because Noah and I were both sick, so we didn't fully eat like how we would normally eat. So I think both days I ended up eating turkey burgers since we had a bunch left over um, and then I didn't eat the ziti, but Noah did eat the ziti. So it was kind of just like what our body felt like. I find it to be very normal. Like sometimes we just don't feel like eating <laughs> what I'm feeling on the upswing right now. So according to my calendar, my weekly meal plan sheet, I'm supposed to be making Rice Krispie treats today. I'm not fully feeling like doing that today and we still have some pie left over. So I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do that. Hopefully I feel a little bit better. I ended up making the Rice Krispie treats on Wednesday. I used up that whole bag of marshmallows that we had left over and then the only other ingredients I needed were Rice Krispies, which I had gotten at Aldi a few weeks before, and then also butter. So it was super easy to Happy make. Happy Thursday, everybody. I am here making dinner right now. It is about 6.15. So according to our meal plan, we are making chicken tacos today. So I had pulled out, I think I accidentally said that I was making turkey meat. I'm making chicken breast tacos. So shredded chicken. I'm using the Instant Pot to make the chicken tacos. I'm making double the recipe that the recipe called for so that I can refrigerate some and then eat both. Noah and I can eat those later, but it's a super simple recipe. I took the chicken out of the freezer yesterday to dethaw, and then I also today took out the, the turkey meat to dethaw so that I can make the spaghetti and meatballs for tomorrow, just so I'm one step ahead of everything. That is an update of what is going on. For chicken tacos, I actually make my own taco seasoning instead of buying it pre-made just because, yes, it is like marginally cheap to make your own, but I don't have to think about buying another ingredient when I have the base spices already on my spice rack. But that's another trick I have is I usually just try to keep the base ingredients for anything like a baking mix because then I can make whatever I want from it. All right, happy Friday, everybody. I am currently in day two of putting together my sourdough or day two of my sourdough recipe. I will link my sourdough recipe down below or at least the one I use. I use another YouTuber's recipe. So I've been using it for a while now and it has been like creating some, some very delicious sourdough bread. I literally haven't bought bread in a fairly long time. So making sourdough is kind of like a routine for me now. This week I'm actually making two loaves because I'm actually gonna gift one to somebody else tomorrow, which is why I decided to make to make sure I was baking it on Saturday because I wanted to give it to her tomorrow. I will check in with you guys later today. Today is spaghetti and meatballs. I still have to prep the meatballs and then the pasta will be super easy just on the stove. So I will check in with you guys for that. All right, happy Saturday, everybody. It is final day of our meal planning journey. I am currently about to bake my bread. So today is two loaves and a little change from our meal planning schedule. We had planned to make spaghetti and meatballs last night, but we had plenty of leftovers from, from the week. So we actually decided to make the spaghetti and meatballs tonight because Noah is still gonna need meals for work. So I do still need to make those, but that was kind of just a change. Sometimes that happens when we meal plan, little things change and that's okay. I'm still baking my bread right now. So I'm, I'm about to pop that in the oven. I'm preheating the oven right now. Before I put it into the oven, I'm going to I actually have a little trick for using like parchment paper. 
So you can see like it rolls up when you take it off of the roll. What I do before I put it, use it for anything, whether that's putting it on a baking sheet for cookies or anything, is I will crumble it up and then I will, I will flatten it back out and then, and then it doesn't roll up. You see that? It just stays straight. So I'm going to put these, once the oven preheats, I'm going to put these in the oven and we're gonna have fresh bread. I usually save the parchment paper for at least two loaves. So if I'm making one loaf for one week, I will save the parchment paper for the next week. That way I'm reusing as much as I can. And I have found that the parchment paper lasts about two loaves and then it starts to get all brittle and crumble on me. So I toss it after that. And watch me drop my loaf in three, two, one. <laughs> oh no, no, no. That was all on camera, nice. All right, Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. Alexa, stop. All right, everybody. Uh, it, is, it is Saturday night. We are Finishing up our meal plan. We have a bunch of meatballs about to go in the oven. I'm about to cook some spaghetti. It's actually like 9 p.m. right now, so I'm not actually eating this tonight. I had actually gone out to lunch with somebody today, and then I just ate my leftovers for dinner tonight. Um, so I'm actually not going to eat the spaghetti and meatballs. This is actually for Noah's lunch to take to work. <laughs> so I'm making it anyways, even though it is 9 p.m. right now. I'm sorry if I sound a little like muffled. Like I said, we were recovering from a cold. I feel like I'm sounding very raspy right now and we're rocking the maroon on maroon sweatsuit. <laughs> So meatballs are in the oven. You guys probably guess that I uh, I used the oven twice today and I obviously wasn't think thinking that I should probably cook everything at the same time, like my bread and the meatballs, but sometimes that happens and I can't always get it right and optimize the oven all the time, but I obviously do the best I can so that I can save as much energy and as much money as I can. Have the meatballs in the, in the oven. They're gonna be in there for about 15 minutes, I think. I guess what I did not show you guys on camera was the end of the sourdough because so I told you guys I baked two loaves. I had baked one and it looked great. That's the one I brought to my friend. And then I baked my second one and while I was about to put it in the Dutch oven, I actually dropped the loaf. <laughs> I got kind of it on camera. It ended up being fine. I find that if you have a really good starter, your sourdough bread is pretty resilient. So it ended up being still pretty good. It's a little like flat in shape, but um, it's still pretty fluffy. So I guess that's my suggestion if you ever want to start sourdough is to have a really good starter. I slice that up. I put it in a container so that we could have some whenever we wanted to. Slicing sourdough is like the messiest thing ever. And then at the same time of me making the sourdough, I actually also made some cupcakes. I have some mini cupcakes here, but I just used a baking mix that I've been wanting to use up and then a can of frosting that I've been wanting to use up as well that had some sprinkles in it. So I made those since we ate all of those Rice Krispie treats. So that'll be like our dessert for the next few days, like a while, because that's like a dozen <laughs> cupcakes. But yeah, I do believe that is all the updates I have. If you did like this video on my whole meal planning on a budget for two, here is my video on my top 10 grocery hack that you should definitely check out if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for commenting down below, liking this video and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.